The basic general idea of distinctive collect seam analysis is that you can identify which items occurring in two alternating constructions occur more often than expected in one construction than in the other, assuming a random distribution of these items across both alternations. This general idea obviously also works for conditions more generally, which makes distinctive collect seam analysis quite useful for comparing words into different corpora. To illustrate, I'm using the frequencies of verbs in the two English constructions that can be used to refer to future events, the be going to and the will constructions. This dataset is actually not in the package, but we will return to how you can create combined frequency lists from built-in datasets in the clip on the function join frex. Suppose we have a data frame going to dot will, which contains the frequencies for each infinitive verb that occurs in either construction with their frequency following all present tense occurrences of going to and those following all instances of modal will in the BNC. The function collects.dist expects the following settings as arguments, the data frame over which to run the analysis, here going to dot will, the association measure by default log likelihood, whether you want to sort in reverse order or not, and the number of decimals you'd like your association measure to have. Note that the output will by default be sorted in descending order of attraction of the first construction you mentioned in your input data frame, in this case the going to construction. If you want to sort by the will construction, you could set reverse to true or switch the two columns in your original data frame. So to run a distinctive collect seam analysis, we simply type collects.dist going to dot will and let R use the default values for the other arguments. We also instruct R to write the output to a named object, future. Once done, we can inspect the future with head future, comma, 12 to view the first 12 lines of the output. The result provides the observed and expected frequencies of a verb in the first construction we specified, then in the second, the construction it prefers, the association measure, at which level of significance this value is statistically, and whether the item is shared between the constructions, so whether it occurs in both constructions. Inspecting the tail, future 12, gives a direct comparison of the type of verbs that prefer either construction. And it seems that there is a bit more action in the going to future than with will. This example is a replication of the example provided in the paper that introduced distinctive collexeme analysis by Gries and Stefanovic, so you can read up the conceptual ideas and statistical implications there.